Hi, Virgo. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have my mic in last time, so I'm sitting here talking away, and that's over there. All right, so everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. It is called Should I Stay or Should I Go? And it's intended for a romantic love situation, but it might resonate otherwise. The bottom of the deck energy is the Nine of Swords upright. And then we have Transform right here. And we have Barriers right here. All right, so if you stay, if you stay, we've got an apology that's needed or the right thing to be done. There needs to be an accounting, right? The, the scales need to be balanced in this relationship, right? And we've got the King of Pentacles here, which could be you, Virgo. Uh, sitting pretty, male or female, secure, reliable, stable, trustworthy, solid, measured. Things are done in a methodical manner. Um, a lot of security here. Someone's very solid in their position. All right. So it could be that somebody needs to say they're sorry and calm everything down and take the leadership role uh, and in providing sort of that calm, let's discuss this, let's go about this methodically and calmly and compassionately, okay? Um, and then I pulled two clarifying cards because I thought, well, it doesn't feel that simple. It feels like somebody needs to calm down, but about what? And I got the Four of Wands reversed and the Sun, which suggests that the right thing to do, or someone feels like the right thing to do, could be a Libra, uh, is to transition out of the relationship, to break up the marriage, to not be in a stable relationship, or to just not talk, to to go your separate corners, much like the Four of Swords, and that would shed some light on a few things. It needs to be some time apart to shed some light on a few things, and the idea is to be stable and act. I, the idea is for everything to stop and for, I guess, a separation to take place. So light can be shed on um, what the relationship issues are. People have time to think, realize their culpability. It could be that, you know, you feel like you can finally breathe again, but it's in an effort to stabilize things. Okay. It's, it's, it's not getting a hall pass per se. I mean, if that's what you agree on, of course, but Something about this feels like it's not about you two wanting to be with another person. This is about you two wanting to really figure this out and give do its due diligence. At least one of you does. And um, the suggestion is to act in a very stable, reliable, uh, compassionate, methodical, trustworthy manner. It could also be that the right thing to do here is to transition out of this relationship and just fly solo for a while and work on building your own security. Whatever this is, though, it's, it's definitely been on your mind quite a bit. That's what we have right there. Um, the purpose of the relationship, should you decide to go, okay, this is the go side. There's, you're probably going to be putting some barriers up or you're going to have to break through some mental barriers. You're going to have to dissect your, some long-held beliefs possibly about, um, about this relationship, about romance in general, about love in general. It could be that you just got walls up for a while after you leave. I mean, who doesn't, right? Um, Anyway, we've got this, all right, well, if you're going to go, um, the purpose of the relationship was in, once again, figuring out what you want, deciding on what you want and going after it, um, progressing in the relationship, recognizing when the relationship is not progressing and getting out of it then, right? We've got the sun reversed here and we've got the sun up right there. All right, so I'm going to be clarifying a few things here. The Knight of Swords reversed is how you're going to let go and that's the advice at least on how to let go and it might be and it's it's in a way it's an opposition to the king of pentacles here it might be that you need to not care about what somebody thinks or says and chart your own path do do your own thing it might be that there's going to be a frenetic energy because you don't know what the future holds now and you're really, you're going to have to make your own way. Let's get some clarifying cards here. What's this two of wands? Oh, I was going to say reverse. What's this two of wands? What's that doing there? Two of wands. Why is that there? So we got the King of Wands reversed and not being able to let go. So we've got somebody that's, oh boy. All right, so um, 
Yeah. I think this is about when you're planning for your future or you're looking to plan with someone, it can't be an impulsive decision and it can't be because you, you can't let go of someone. Okay. It, it's gotta be at least in staying with someone and being with someone. It's not about recycling the past. It's not about what you can't let go of. It's not about, um, trying to resurrect something and bring it into the future, at least in this case, especially if it's somebody that has really high expectations, if they're impulsive, if it's do as I say, not as I do, and they're not willing to be faithful and they expect you to be faithful, they're not willing to take out the trash, but they expect you to clean the whole house, male or female. I'm just saying that this is a very, um, it can be very selfish, this kind of energy right here, okay? And they don't let go of a whole lot. They're, they can be kind of controlling, it might also be that this is a past life relationship, a strong soulmate connection, a, a really strong. So there's that you're grappling with also, but that does not a relationship make. Okay. And it doesn't give license for someone to be, um, controlling. It's like, well, we're fated, you know, we've, we've known each other so long and, um, we're special to each other. Well, that might work for one person and not for the other, especially if the other person's feeling burdened. Right. So, um, and, and figuring out what you want for the future, it's not going to be all on you. The relationship shouldn't be all on you, at least in the future. This often speaks of patterns that we get into in relationships, and it might be that you are always the strong, stable one, um, where somebody else gets to kind of cart flop and and just be very expectant and high, you know, high maintenance. And maybe it's somebody that holds grudges. Maybe it's that you just have a hard time letting go of relationships. But the idea is that. It's not about staying with someone because of longevity and your worth is not what you do in a relationship. It's who you are. So next go around, or at least in looking at the pattern, those things, those barriers, that, that way of thinking, that way of acting in a relationship needs to be examined because that's, you're so much more than that. <laughs> you're so much more than what you do. You're so much more than the services you provide and hanging on to someone from your past or because you have an affinity for them does not a relationship make at least a good one anyway. Right? So how to let go is you just kick the door down and walk right out. <laughs> Honestly, this is about not giving a flying leap. What anybody um, says anymore. You don't have to be this pillar of security and in service of you get to chart your own path. You get to do your own thing. And it's just as well that you might be flying solo um, because you're going to need to look at a few patterns or at least ways of relating in a relationship. Okay, so if you stay, some there needs to be a reckoning. Um, and this, this relationship that has been in just for a while, I'm sure, uh, has to be transformed. There needs to be a reckoning, a true reckoning. And this is heavy duty. Somebody needs to say they're sorry, own up to their culpability and being probably being an overbearing jerk male or female. Okay. Um, cause it's certainly causing you a lot of stress. Maybe you're wondering what you should do, how you should do it. I don't think you should do anything. Uh, this is saying that if you stay, you're probably going to have to be in the position of being the understanding, calm, measured one, right? I think you've done enough of that, but the choice will be yours. As far as what action to take, we've got the sun reversed. So let me see what that is. That's, that's, it's like a sunset, you know, it's, 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 hmm. well, this is suggesting if you stay, there's going to be a lot of work involved in repairing this soulmate relationship or this engagement or this committed relationship. Um, it's going to be a lot of work and there's going to be, it's not going to be this bright, shiny, happy, do you know what I mean? It's not going to be like, oh, it's a brand new day and it's full of promise. This is more like dusk. The sun is setting and we're going into the dark night. So, um, again, the choice is yours. If you stay, there will be a lot of work involved. If you leave, there's going to be you charting your own course. And of course there's going to be work there. Um, and you're going to have your emotional work cut out for you too, as far as examining some long held beliefs or patterns. Okay. So this, sometimes this is read as the no card. All right. Um, and it would read here, it would read no to this partnership and having to work on it. Just saying, but it could also be that if you do stay, there's going to be work involved in transforming this soulmate relationship. And you're going to have to go through the dark night, uh, before you do that. And what I mean by that is it's, 
It's um, it's called shadow work, and it basically it kind of plums the depths, and you you deal with a lot of subconscious issues. That's putting it very very simply, but um, it's rough stuff. It, it feels like a Saturn return, you know, and and you're kind of over in the corner dry heaving after you're done. And you have a whole new appreciation for what makes you tick and the other person tick <laughs> and why. So you most definitely are always up for the task for something like that, Virgo. You're a team player. Um, it would just be if you decide if it's worth it or not. Okay. All right. So um, I wish you luck with this, Virgo. It's it's, it's a lot to, to process. <laughs> um, I thank you for stopping by and I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.